everybody. This is Irma from Food for Healthy Bones. And I live in New Hope, Pennsylvania, the land of New Hope. Right across the river is this beautiful community by the name of Lambertville, New Jersey. And every year, right before Halloween, this wonderful woman and her generosity creates these little tiny people, I call them sort of egos, uh, that are all in black and white. So I thought I would give you a little tour because I think in some of them, you might see a little bit of yourself. So I had a sister and these are two sisters. I see, I see myself in that image. And oh my gosh, here's somebody with just looking downward and feeling sad. Here is, oh goodness gracious. I don't know, that reminded me of an old teacher that I used to have. That was not very pleasant, showed a lot of teeth. And this poor sad thing, oh my goodness gracious, all in black and white. Look at the beautiful, beautiful costumes. And then we have, this looks like, like an aunt of somebody's, maybe my aunt, but my Aunt Ruby never looked like that. She's all in black, but she is smoking. And then we have, here's the white, here's one of the white ladies. So it's sort of the yin and yang of our personalities, right? I know that sometimes I feel my thoughts are coming out of my head, so there's a good one that I could relate to. And then we have this family. Oh, look at the woman in the back. Do you see her hands are coming out of her head? That's very interesting, reaching for the stars. And then we have, look at this, just look at the details of this work. She's serving cupcakes. Oh my gosh, we know that our bones with cupcakes, not a good thing, but every so often, and then here, okay, this is me as a young person. I absolutely dressed like that, maybe not completely goth. Didn't have black lipstick on, but those stripes, oh yeah. And then this, this could remind me of my first uh, and only child, Andrew, when he was young and used to do those temper tantrums. And then we're gonna move over. We have this mysterious, mysterious lady, all in black. But she's looking down, so it looks like she's very sad, like she's mourning something, something that has passed. And most of us have been through that process, letting go of something. What else do we have? Oh, and then we have this family over here that looks a little, little, little out of touch. Oh, there are the twins. And here, there's the priest, of course. Then we have the young girl at rest. We have a pair of Siamese twins here somebody who's looking on. It's another image. Again, look at the details. Every year she adds one or two more. And then, of course, here's the skeleton. And when I say of course, because it's the skeleton, the horse skeleton. Look at this baby. She's got a crown of branches coming out of her head. What does that mean? I know that I relate to that. I don't know why. And then this little, this little creature, such a beautiful creature. Ah, it goes on and on. Can you imagine the mind that creates this? How about this? Ah, my God, I've been there. Yep, sometimes when my anger gets a little inflamed. And then we have, ah, let me get out of the sun so we can have a better view. Okay. How about this baby? She's a little scary with those glowing eyes. And then we have over here, this is a better angle of the three. It almost looks like Handmaiden's Tale. Right, different kind of costume. Over here, this is a young child who's obviously acting out. The little girl is saying, oh no, please don't yell at my sister or something along the lines of that. Mother is smiling. Is that a smile? Mm, who knows? Next we have ah, another set of Siamese twins. Look at these beauties playing the accordion. Oh, bones. There's the bones. Skeleton. Oh, it is a skeleton. And then we have this beautiful princess with the white doves flying all around. This is a dreamy one for me. I really feel peaceful when I see her. Mmm, beautiful. 
Then we have this lady over here. She's behind plastic, so we're not going to get a really good view. But she's all in dark. Oh, it looks like the kitty cats fell down. Mm -hmm. Maybe that needs some repair. And as we wind it up, we have a couple more figures here. Beautiful. And we have this sleeping sort of skeleton or maybe branches sleeping. And this one is so sad. This one, oh, as the lady is so, so sad as she looks down at all the innocent lives that have lost, have that, have, that have left us. All the innocent lives and the black crows or ravens. And this sign says, this is for George Steining, 14? 14? Execute an electric chair? Exonerated 30 years later? Oh my goodness, 70 years later. Oh. And then we're gonna sadly move on. Goodbye, honey. I know that sadness. So empathetic. The feet that are coming out of the ground, stripes. And then we have this munchkin who, I don't know, ever had acid reflux or belly ache. That's sort of what I feel like when my belly aches. And then we have this content person here, sort of content. And then we close it with the, the, um, the screaming lady. So let me know if you relate to any of these figures, which one stands out the most for you? Who are you? And this wonderful display of incredible uniqueness. Thank you for tuning in. Bye for now.